another Panther plug. I'm Drake Dowding here with Dylan Real. Um, so first question is for you here, Dylan. So we we knew you went back to we knew you were at Southeast first off. So how how was the difference from Southeast to here to Palmyra? Um, you know, being in the city is a lot more different than being in a small town. And so, for an example, we played 11 man at Southeast, and coming out here playing eight man is a whole different. You know, we got a smaller field. You know, it's kind of it's kind of a speed game, whereas in Southeast, you know, you got to be big, fast, strong, and it's just a really big change. A lot, a lot of technique would go into 11-man, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, what, what was, what was like, what's your biggest role model, like, to play um, football or something like that? So, I'm a, I'm a diehard Texas Longhorns fan, all right? So, um, B. John Robinson. B. John Robinson is a hardworking, very humble athlete, and I love following him, and he's just very inspirational. So, so why, why would you pick that player for the Texas Law Force? Um, Bijan, he's, you know, he's so explosive, and it's just really fun to watch him. And it's like, you know, he has such a good technique to work off of, and he's just such a good role model. Okay. Um, what was one of your goals coming in to this football season? Um, yeah, one of my goals, uh, I wanted to get at least 500 scrimmaging yards, which I'm on track for, um, yeah, either rushing or receiving or just adding them combined. But yeah, I wanted to be able to contribute that to the team. Mm -hmm. So, what was like? So, when you first met like the coaching staff and them guys, like, how do you think the players like we did? How we were for week one to week to now? Um, I mean, honestly, the coaching staff has been very. It's we've, it's been hard to get used to this season. It's because obviously because we had Tyler Moss and uh -huh. Bump as uh, coaches last season, and now we got Coach Fuller and we have Coach Norhues. Um, but I feel like our players have adjusted really well to this new offense. For example, Drew Earhart. I mean, he's he went off against Owen Murdoch. He he felt real, he he looked really confident. Um, but yeah, I feel like our players are adjusted really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, because we put up 52, and we're we got confidence coming into this game tonight. That's good. That's good. We're gonna need that. Um, so what? So I know you used to do track. If I'm not wrong. Yes. So doing track and do you, does that would that like prepare you for football? Like how would that most, like help you? Most definitely. Um, track track is a great thing to do for football players. You know, if you're trying to get bigger, faster, stronger, uh, the faster category is the part where you do track. Um, you know, you got you get good coaches like Coach Peterson and Coach Khan out here. They'll really uh, critique your form and running, and they'll they'll get you in the weight room. Um, they'll get you stronger and faster for sure. Mm -hmm. So what was like? Um, how, what was like something like Pacific you would do to like help yourself like in like the spots you're at on the football field and like what would like help you um, on there? Two things, lift weights all the time. Don't stop lifting weights. You need to be big, fast, strong for football season. Two, be friends with your teammates. Um, being friends with your teammates will build good chemistry, you know, and uh, yeah, uh, you'll play well with them all. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Back, back to Southeast, the question again, if you don't mind. So, like, 11-man was, like, probably a lot harder. It is a lot harder. Because I know, I know next year, if you're going out next year, we're going to 11-man. Yes, I know. Which I feel like you're excited. I know I'm mm -hmm. excited for it. But what what's, like, the difference between 11-man and 8-man? You know, for you? I mean, like I said earlier, the 11-man field's a lot wider and you got more space. But, you know, uh, players, like, you know, play outside so that they don't let anything up the field. On like the outside, um, which is much different than eight man, because you know you got you got formations in eight man that are like very crowded, whereas you know eleven man you got the whole field spread out. You'll usually run into a bunch of spread formations that t teams like to run, and yeah, it'll be uh it'll be hard to defend. It'll be also hard to run against though too. Mm -hmm. So, one uh, one last question for you today, but um. What's one thing that you look like you really look forward to throughout the like rest of the year for football, like just in general for the rest of the year? Like, what what do you look forward to? Um, yeah, uh, I just I look forward to building a bigger relationship with my teammates. You know, I'm kind of new here still. I came in here second semester of my freshman year, not knowing anybody. It was kind of awkward, and now I feel like I'm best friends with these guys on the football team, and it's great to be around them. That's good. Friendships always occur on the football field. They should. We're all brothers on the field. Sure. But I think that will wrap it up for the day. Thank sure. you for coming out. Thank you for joining the interview today. Um, thank you, guys.